Okay, we're in a Land of the Giant Car Force. Uh, mushrooms, mycelium, tags, uh, everything to do with life. Here we are, and uh, don't tell anyone, but um, I'm at a private party in the Redwoods with Tom Petty, and uh, I just kind of wandered off a little bit because I wanted to do this um, vid. Um, this is how it gets down. And I want to show you extreme examples of uh, these shelf mushrooms right now. And um, these are hard as rocks and um, they're edible at some point sometimes. And um, originally I wanted to try and get that view there. That right there, these are giant carophores. Carophores, I can't pronounce it properly. Right. Right there. And all up the side of these trees. And we're going to try and hike over to them. These are extremely huge and hard to get at. And um, meanwhile, I'm going to let you enjoy the um, giant ferns. Okay. Clovers, hmm. epithytes are plants that grow out of um, this leaf here. is extremely, extremely wet. I don't know how to explain it, but these are these are the sort of plants that you want to grow. This is what we grow in Humboldt. These are our clovers. And um, have you hugged a tree today? And um, you know the uh, these things are 50 feet. I mean they're so tall. They're so far up there. Um, this tree here is a great example of. Uh, okay, there we go. If you can see that one, two, three. We're gonna go on this side here and check out. Oh my gosh. Okay, these are actually petrified even. These are so old, I didn't even notice these. You would step on these and think that this was bark. This is so blackened. Okay, and this is an edible, originally an edible original product. You can see the undersides are white and um, still have viability and growth. These things are still growing. They're probably 30 years old, even though these can grow seasonally and die back shelf and uh, let's not forget that all life is a great spiral it's a DNA spiral okay plants me you DNA we're all part of the great golden spiral the golden means okay I think Tom's been smoking a little bit too much. His throat's a little bad. You can hear him. It's just we've been blazing, you know, thumbers all day. It's kind of how it is. And um, you just, I just can't possibly give you an idea that I'm six feet tall and I'm just trying to step on a root here to this teeny little tree. Okay. Um, I really just wanted to give you a quick one believe it or not because this is just so extremely huge out here that there's just no way to really give you an appreciation of what it is that I get to experience right now um, in this environment and um, to tell you that a lot of these trees it's really important that these stay here see the underside of these by the way, look at that. Look at those purple. Um, it's really important that these logs and trees and stuff fall. They they form a natural um, ground cover. It's called hummus when it breaks down. And uh, redwoods are specific to these areas and to this ground because of the mycorrhizae that's in the ground. And if it wasn't for the quality of dirt that was in there, the federal government regulates it, and that's why you can't have. Um, a lot of plants and trees 
this doesn't belong here. This is a, a well, whether it does or doesn't belong here, this is a common plant and um, or around town anyway. I'll show you this one more time. See, they banded this. Look at this huge slug. You see the, they're eating it, they know, okay? Chitin, don't forget. Um, we're gonna talk about vines real quick. If you wanted to climb up this vine here, you could. This is Tarzan right here, okay? This vine is actively growing out of the mushrooms. I mean, look at all these mushrooms and different things. It's just amazing. And so, basically, when you uh, move the trees in the dirt and try and recreate these things in science, it doesn't happen. They need this extreme wetness. They need this dirt. They need the mycelium. And um, some of these trees are either invasive and or just fallen here accidentally. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to Life Generator right now. And even though uh, I don't know if he knows me or respects me, I'm going to try and remember something I, I believe that he taught me. Um, so thank you. We've got a... I'm a forager, by the way, which, just to fast forward, okay, we've got a new product here. We just found, I'm deep in the, I'm not on a trail right now, I'm in the redwoods. And, um, okay, you see this? Okay, that's not a fern, it's not natural. Or, I mean, don't quote me as to whether things are or are not natural, but, okay, we're going to do a, um, a bioassay right now on the spot. And I'm going to go with, uh, like I said, shout out to Life Generator. It's got a huge channel raw food specialist forager and uh, I believe he's in-house right now and um, these um, berries I'm not sure what they are but I, I believe that they are they are uh, god I want to say sensor berries or something um, the coloring on them gosh it looks like a jelly belly you know or a little sparrow's egg it's it's purplish red with fleck with flecks with flecks and I've never seen this berry before I've never seen I've never seen this uh, I mean we're okay the base of redwoods okay this is growing out of the redwoods and um, so you can see it's just one big nice leaf and then it puts off uh, obviously had a sick flower and now it's got these berries and I don't think this berry is is viable because it's pretty hard oh no okay here we go here we go Nope. Okay, I just ate, I just bit into this. I'm not tasting extreme poisons. I would not recommend this as food, however, until you have uh, a lot more information on this. Oh, shit. I'm gonna have to, also I can tell, you see all the berries that are gone on this? Okay, to me that says that and all the holes in here that this has been eaten and so therefore they're chowing on these and um, whatever is chowing on these and therefore it is at least edible to something and uh, I assure you anything out here is, is valuable and rare and um, hmm. so let's follow this up here because okay, okay, you can see this right here if this is familiar to anybody and they want to post you know information on this obviously I'll appreciate all um, education knowledge this this leaf looks like a, um, some type of maple family at best um, fine ridges but really spread out and this is ripped you know but uh, the point is, is this whole tree here and we've got huge chunks of uh, in the future I will be selling by the way just you know heads up for my private viewers um, this is some seriously powerful shit and it'll make me a billion dollars you know um, know that to be true that's a uh, cellular regeneration product is uh, being patented and uh, distributed all throughout the world you know and is a extremely extremely powerful product yeah anyway so back to the berries oh mr. fatty we're gonna get paid